Hi, good morning. Uh, in this video class, we are going to study the major achievements of biotechnology, especially achievements of transgenic plants. Let us try to study the different transgenic plants which are created by utilizing the biotechnology. First of all, we know that in biotechnology, we produce different category of transgenic plant like pest resistant transgenic plant, nematode resistant transgenic plant, stress resistant transgenic plant, etc. So in this video class, we are going to study few examples of this genetically modified plant or transgenic plant. First of all, in biotechnology, we create a pest resistant transgenic plant, especially insect pest. So we, you can see the diagram of a Bt cotton. It's a best example for a transgenic plant showing resistant capacity against insect pests. First of all, what is Bt? Actually, Bt is the short form of a bacteria that is Bacillus thuringiensis. Actually, it is a soil borne bacteria. So, that bacteria contains a specific gene. That gene is our desired gene. That, spe that specific gene is called cry gene. That cry gene can able to produce a protein that protein exists in an active form at basic pH whereas it exists in an inactive form at acidic pH. If it is exists in an inactive form then that cry protein is called protoxin. If it exists in an active form then it is called an active cry protein. So Bt cotton actually Bt cotton is a normal cotton in which we insert an insect resistant cry gene of Bacillus thuringiensis bacteria. That is why this cotton plant is called Bt cotton. In simple term we can say that it is a normal cotton plant modified by injecting a specific insect resistant gene that is called the cry gene of a bacteria called Bacillus thuringiensis. And when we move into the history of this Bt cotton, this Bt cotton was first approved for field trial in US in 1993. And later, after two years, 1995, it got a commercial approval there. After that, in 1997, Chinese government got approval for this Bt cotton. Lastly, in 2002, Indian government also give an approval for this genetically modified plant that is called Bt cotton. So the main features of Bt cotton is that it contains an insect resistant gene that is cry gene that is able to resist the attack of some insect includes in, it includes lepidopterans group of insect lepidopterans coleopterans and diphtherans. And you can see number of different strain of this Bacillus thuringiensis. So that is why we can say that this cry gene also exists in different form like cry 1 AC, cry 2 AB, cry 1 AB like that. So that all the things related with the different types of that cry gene will be discussed here later. Next let us try to understand what are the basic use why we need to produce cotton from Bt cotton. What is the main advantage of this Bt cotton or what is the and what is the use of this cotton? For what purpose we are cultivating cotton plants? So the answer is simple. Cotton is commonly used for the production of clothes like that upholstery, 
and like that for the production of cosmetics and like cotton seed oil can be utilized by humans and it is used for the preparation of papers and packaging of electrical equipments to prevent the mechanical damage and the seeds of this cotton can also be used as a livestock feed so in simple term we can say that cotton plays or cotton has a lot of application in human life next let us try to understand how the crazy within the bt cotton act or how it kill how the crazy present within the bt cotton kill the insect pest so here we are going to study the we have where we are going to understand the answer for this question first of all we need to know we have to know that there are different kinds of crazy exist in different strains of bacillus thuringiensis bacillus bacteria thuringiensis approximately 200 different type of bt toxin that is bt toxin mean 200 different type of crazy exist in different strains of bacillus thuringiensis so that is why we can say that approximately different 200 different type of cry protein also exists among the different strain of this bacillus and its mechanism of action is that cry gene bind to a specific cadherin like protein it's a cadherin like protein present on the brush bordered membrane of insect guts or simply we can say that this cry protein bind on the cadherin like protein person on the intestinal line or lining of guts when this cry protein bound or bind on the cadherin like protein that cry protein cadherin protein complex act as a potassium ion channel and that potassium ion channel mediate the movement of k plus ion or potassium ion from the intestine from, from the cells of this brush bordered membrane into the guts into the gut gut chamber of this insect so when the k plus ion move from the cell towards outside that leads to the or that leads to the disturbance of cell osmotic balance which ultimately lead to the death of that cell so that is happen in case of this insect and we know that insect gut contain an alkaline ph that is why this cry protein get act so due to the damage or due to the destruction of cells present at the uh, present at the brush bordered membrane of insect gut that make uh, that make a minute pore on the gut wall through that minute pores different kinds of bacteria can again enter into uh, the insect insect body the their leads to the ultimate death of that insect so that is happen in case of uh, this bacillus that, that that bacillus this bt cotton that is why we can say that bt cotton is highly resistant against the attack of insect pests like lepidopterans coleopterans dipterans the insect the actually the worms of that insect may, mainly the worms of that insect may da causes damage to the plant because that insect normally lay its egg on the leaf and flowers of this bt cotton this uh, cotton plant so after the after the development of, of the insect into a larval state that larva can uh, that larva feed the leaf and the flowers of that bt cotton that cotton so in order to avoid such attack we create a genetically modified cotton plant that is called bt cotton so this is about the bt cotton and you can see the main advantage of this bt cotton over normal cotton if we utilize bt cotton for the cultivation or for the production of cotton we'll get high yield 
and also we can get relief from the attack of insect pests like lepidopterans, scolioptians, and diphtherans. And third, we can reduce the use of insecticides. Because if we cultivate a normal cotton plant, we need to depend a lot of insecticide in order to kill such kind of pathogen. So if we use Bt cotton, we can eliminate or we can reduce the use of insecticide. And also thereby we can reduce or we can decrease the cultivation expense also. And fifth one, we can reduce or we can decrease the use of natural predators if we cultivate normal cotton plant, we need to depend natural predators in order to kill the pathogen. So if we are using Bt cotton, we can also decrease the utilization of natural predators of pathogen. And like that, finally, we can also eliminate the health hazard if, if we utilize chemical insecticide when, when we are cultivating normal cotton plant, we need to utilize chemical insecticide. Suppose if we are cultivating, uh, if we are cultivating Bt cotton instead of a normal cotton plant, we can reduce the health hazard. So this is about the advantages of Bt cotton over a normal cotton. And in the last, in the bottom portion, you can see few different types of different types of uh, cry gene. I did, uh, here I display three different type of cry gene. You can see cry one AC and cry two AB. That is that is that is commonly used for controlling cotton bulbworm. Suppose if cotton bulbworm is the main attacking pathogen in an area, then it is better to utilize a Bt cotton containing a cry gene, cry one AC and cry two AB. There. Suppose. If our pathogen is a corn borer, then it is better to utilize a Bt cotton containing a cry gene, cry one AB. So, like that, we can utilize different category of cry, cry gene to create Bt cotton. So, this is about Bt cotton. Next, in biotechnology, we can also create transgenic plant showing resistant capacity against herbs. Actually, Herbicide resistant transgenic plants are created in order to control or in order to prevent the harmful effect of herbicide. Suppose in this example you can see glyphosate tolerant cotton, chlorosulfuron tolerant roses and glufosinate tolerant lupins. So this are the three examples for herbicide resistant transgenic plant. So here we have to think what is the purpose of creating a transgenic plant showing herbicide resistant capacity. Suppose if you are cultivating rose plant in a commercial scale. So, the, so in that field there will be a chance of weeds in order then that weeds naturally absorb all the essential all the essential materials of that rose plant from the soil so if the weeds absorb all the essential material from the soil then that process ultimately affect the decrease in growth of roses so in order to increase the growth of rose plant we need to eliminate all the herb weed which is present along with the rose plant. Suppose if we apply chlorosulfurone, it's a weed side. So that may damage the rose plant because rose plant is also a plant like a herb weed. So, it is, so, during that condition, it is better to cultivate a rose plant having tolerance capacity against that chlorosulfuron. So, when we use such kind of rose plant, that rose plant can able to tolerate and grow luxuriantly in presence of chlorosulfuron, whereas, whereas all other weeds will disturb.
so that may help the farmer to increase their commercial value like that you can see glyphosate tolerant cotton the same mechanism happen in case of glyphosate tolerant cotton also suppose if you want to cultivate a cotton plant then it is better to cultivate glyphosate tolerant cotton because normally when we are cultivating a cotton then there will be the presence of a weed in the form of an herb so if we need to remove such herb weed definitely we have to depend a herbicide like glyphosate so during that condition our cotton plant can able to tolerate that glyphosate thereby it can able to grow luxuriantly without the harmful effect of weeds so that is happening in case of glyphosate tolerant cotton like that we can also depend another herbicide tolerant plant that is lupin which is tolerant against the herbicide glufosinate the same mechanism happen in case of that plant also next virus resistant transgenic plant that is vrtps virus resistant transgenic plants this virus resistant transgenic plant if we use virus resistant transgenic plant for cultivation or for the production of any biological product that then then that will help us to eliminate the presence of virus so uh, here you can see in this slide you can see the creation or development of virus resistant transgenic plant how we can able to create virus resistant transgenic plant that is vrtps we can develop virus resistant transgenic plant by inserting a transgene for a specific gene which was isolated which, which is it can be isolated which it can be taken from either virus or plant or bacteria or any other origin any other living organism for example this resistance that is the resistance against a virus in transgenic plant will be gained by post transcriptional gene silencing so that transgene product can able to silence the post transcriptional process in that plants like that it can, it may be either code protein mediated resistant or replicase mediated resistant or plant antibody that is plant antibody mediated resistant or ribosome mediated resistant so these five resistant mechanism are utilized by biotechnologist to create virus resistant plant so virus resistant plants gained that resistant capacity due to the presence of a specific transgene that work in a specific pattern like any of these five given in the slide so that is the mechanism operating here in case of virus resistant transgenic plant and you can see an example of a virus resistant transgenic plant that is transgenic papaya resistant to papaya ring spot virus actually this plant you can see the indication you can see the attack of a papaya plant so papaya plant attacked by this papaya ring spot virus so biotechnologists developed a transgenic papaya resistant to papaya ring spot virus so this is about the few achievements of biotechnology especially achievements of biotechnology by developing a transgenic plant thank you